getting the uh, white beans together here for canning up some of my canning it all up kitchen's kind of a mess right now I've been doing so much stuff I got so many projects going in one weekend so I got dishes to do and but anyways um, I had a 25 pound bag of these white beans and separating them and stuff like that looking for any baddies as usual like you do with the grain nope I'm gonna have to I'm following um, the recipe on the, on the National Center for Home Canning website I think that's what it's called and uh, so yeah I gotta rinse them bring them to a boil and blah 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 and let them sit for an hour rinse them you know all that good stuff so I already got them measured out. I had them measured out in a bowl. Yeah. I went with six and a half pounds because I want a canner load. I want a canner load of these things. So now the recipe calls for three cups of water per one cup of beans. So I got six and a half uh, pounds of beans in here. And um, so I just kind of estimated it's just to do the bean soak. So um, I just put in 36 cups of water. So it's going to do the soak. I guess it's called the quick soak method. So I'm going to bring it to a boil and I guess shut it down. And let it set for an hour and come and drain them. Probably rinse them and... And we'll move on to the next step. So, <clears throat> yeah, lots of beans here. Big pot. I shouldn't have to make baked beans for quite a time, quite a quite a while. I shouldn't have to make these for a long time. <laughs> well, they've soaked for an hour, or just a couple minutes over an hour. Oh, look at that! How tasty! What a huge pot of beans. That's what I like doing. I like cooking for an army and canning it. And I ain't got to worry about it for a while. Wow, those really took up the water. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. So I got to drain this water off per the instructions. Fill it back up. Bring it back to a boil. And I will be saving the juice for the molasses sauce. Yes. The last, the last beans I canned, I really, I don't know what I did, but I screwed them up. I think it was because I used too much of... Uh, too much molasses or something but anyways i'm gonna drain these off and uh get them back to boiling and i'm gonna ha and have to get my molasses sauce right, made. The recipe calls for three tablespoons of molasses per one pound of beans but i got like 12 and a half pounds so I got this little recipe thing I found online where you can convert tablespoons to cups. And actually, it all came out to, I'm gonna need one cup of molasses. One cup. And it called for four cups of water, but I seem to remember the last time I did these, I think I ended up needing more water. I mean, this seems like a lot of molasses here. Grink, 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 grink. <laughs> I'm probably going to add some sugar in with that. I probably will. And this is my own addition to the recipe. I don't know. Maybe I should. So there you go. There's one cup of molasses. Ugh. Look at it pour in the pan. Isn't that neat? This recipe is calling for... Come on, man. Help me out here. Three table... Or one tablespoon of vinegar per three cups. So I got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So that's five tablespoons of vinegar I got to put in. Five tablespoons. There's one. Two, three, four, five, 
side. All right, and it says salt is optional. Well, I like a lot of salt, so I'm gonna put the salt in. I uh, use real sea salt, the real salt. Um, it says two teaspoons of salt per three cups of beans. So two teaspoons of salt. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. That's a lot of salt. Uh, two teaspoons per three cups. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. That's ten teaspoons. So actually three tablespoons. So I don't think I'm gonna quite go that far. That's a that's a lot of teaspoons. It is a big thing though. But I think we'll go with a couple tablespoons. I mean, it's, you know, the recipe did call it optional, but use my sea salt here. One. We'll just go with two tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 10 teaspoons just seems a bit overkill. And then it says 3 quarter teaspoon of powdered dry mustard per 3 cups. So 3 quarter teaspoon. You know I don't know if I have a 3 quarter. But I have a half and a quarter. I got the ground mustard here and I should have enough so I really don't know how this stuff is supposed to smell I know it's old <laughs> oh well and of course it's in such a way that I can't exactly measure it perfectly so there's one two I need to quit holding it over the steam right that's three Four. Five. And it's probably not going to be an exact amount because I'm having a hard time with this. One. Two. Three. Four. And I'm making quite the mess, as always. Hey, it wouldn't be in a homestead without the mess. I mean, you gotta have a mess here. There's just no other way to do this, folks. I mean, you gotta have a mess. Oh, and while I'm at it, like I said, I might as well just throw my bacon in the mix. And like I said, what I've done is ground it up. <laughs> so it maybe disperse the flavor a bit better. Mix that right in. And it's pretty much ready to go. All I gotta do is drain the water off and we'll All take right, it from now that we uh, had them beans brought up to boiling, it's time to pour them in this massive thing here. It's a stainless steel tub that actually came from an electric roaster that I had and I ended up trying to do something with the roaster and I destroyed it but I'm like you know what I'm keeping the stainless steel tub this thing can come in handy oh gosh that's a lot of beans I haven't even gotten started yet <laughs> uh, I just poured half of them about half in there and I'm gonna pour some ladle some of this juice over it 
rather not ladle, but. Ugh. I think this is gonna need a lot more water than what I what I got. <laughs> I really do. So you gotta pour in enough just to cover the beans. I'm gonna put it all in there. Whoa, yeah. Oh mama. Alright, so that's all the that's all the juice I got for that. However, it's just covering the beans. So like I said, I think I need more water. We <laughs> got the rest of them. Ugh. There you have it. There's all the beans. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> So supposedly these are supposed to turn out to be baked beans, but I don't know. I hope it didn't screw this recipe up as well. <laughs> I don't even know how many cups I used, but yeah, I'm glad I saved the liquid from the beans though, because sure they're all coated and I'm gonna dump some more liquid in here to where I guess they're just supposed to be just covered and do a little taste test and see how I like them well here we are um, getting ready to get these beans canned up got my uh, got this heating up ready to go um, this isn't recommended for you to do I put my jars in the oven to get them up to I'd say around 210 degrees um, <clears throat> I've been canning since 2016 and this is just how I do it. I want the jars up to temperature. So when I put really hot stuff in them, they don't crack on me. Um, it's just, <clears throat> it's it's considered cutting a corner, I think. Because really you're supposed to heat your jars up with like a water bath canner or something. Um, that is just way too much of a hassle. And I just don't have the room for that kind of thing. So I heat them up in the oven. And to be clear, they're not being sterilized. Um... Putting them in the oven, you know, I'm not worried about sterilizing the jars. They're going to be sterilized when they're pressure canning. All you need to do is just wash them and dry them and they're sterile. They're sterile enough. Because they will become sterile in the pressure canner. Um, I've done a baked bean recipe and I'm hoping I don't screw this one up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the liquid from the beans and the reason why I'm gonna be doing this is because I'm just setting up the phone here the reason why I'm gonna be doing this is because I uh, I want to get the right ratio of beans to mixture you know the liquid mixture Bad idea. I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil on the rim here, my pressure canner. But anyways, I want to try to get the ratio right, so I'm not, you know, hopefully too short on liquid. But, and when you, if you do make a big sting like this, be careful when you take the foil off. That steam is hot. But I made a big old thing of this. <laughs> it's hot, man. Ugh. Ooh. Big old thing of beans. And I hope they turn out better than my last ones. Um, I didn't follow the canning recipe 100%, so I'm kind of going cowboy style here. I 
taste of the sauce, and I just, I really didn't care for it. Um, I, I don't know any other way to put it. I just, I couldn't, I, I didn't care for the sauce. So I added a bunch of sugar to it to sweeten it up, and I may be even adding more salt after all. So what I'm going to do is attempt to ladle the juice out of here, and I'm going to keep the juice kind of simmering on the stove. And that way I can put the beans in the jar individually and then pour, ladle some juice into them. And like I said, I hope I got enough. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm not going to put this on the stove, at least not at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to start with my jar. Grab a jar out of here. Uh, and start filling away. I don't know how I'm going to manage this, but I'm going to stick one ladle in here, one ladle in here, give it a good mix. It almost seems like I wouldn't even have to add any liquid because, I mean, it's pretty soupy and it's pretty difficult to uh, actually separate the liquid from the beans like I thought I was going to do. No, it's like, ain't going to work that way. So... Let me figure out how far I want to go up with these. It says one inch of head space, so it's at the bottom of that rim. So if I fill that up to there, ooh, yeah, this is going to be an issue. That's going to have to go behind here. So if I fill that up to there, to that line, and say fill up the rest with liquid, that'll bring it up to the head space, and should hopefully be enough liquid. I'm gonna do this differently. I'm gonna put this over here, so it's like right there. All right, now, put this to the side, actually. Let me get enough plate out. Ooh, I just washed all these dishes, and I'm gonna make a big old mess. But what I do is I keep using the same ones over and over because I don't store my uh, I don't store my jars, my mason jars with the, with the rings on them. I just don't do it. Okay. I wonder if that's enough liquid. I sure hope it is. Uh, so let me try another jar before I go lopping that in the can. I want to try something. Like I said, this is kind of experimental with me. So, uh, so anyways, that's what I've been doing, just putzing around, experimenting, and uh, there's that big old ladle. Oh. I should probably just use the little one. I think this one's just a bit too big. So I'm going to fill it up to there. pretty reasonable. What do you guys think? Alright, put it on the plate. I did get a little bit on the rim there. So, comparing the two jars, this one has just a little bit more liquid, that one, eh, not so much. All right, we'll get these going in the canner. Well, we got the canner loaded. I don't know why I think I was thinking 18. It's actually 20 pints. So, huh. and I got plenty of uh, plenty left over. Looks like for gee, I probably could have done another three or four pints, maybe <clears throat> two or three, four. I don't know. So yeah, I'm just gotta put the lid on and wait for it to steam up and hope they turn out. <laughs> 
I don't know if I'll be doing this again. I, it's, <laughs> these uh, baked beans are kind of a hassle. I think so. All right. And we'll just let that steam up, can them up, and when I'm done, get them out. Now, yeah, these balls are going to go off at the same time. Just getting ready to wiggle, and that thing there is just getting ready to scream. There it goes. Yep. There it goes. It's going. Yep, and I want to make some hot cocoa. So, this is the lard that I got from that bacon. Yep, just turned out real nice and clean. I filtered it and all that. And I don't know. I didn't know this stuff was actually supposed to be good for you. I never knew that. Oh man, all this time I've been throwing it away. It's not like I buy bacon all the time, but yep, all this time I've been throwing it away. Whenever I have bought it, and there's nothing wrong with keeping it. It's actually good for different kinds of things. So, so I'm have some cocoa. And uh, we'll come back and uh, get this finished up. Oh, and there we have it. 20 jars of uh, baked beans. I'm looking at them. I'm like wondering, did I put too much liquid in there? I don't know. It looks like I did. Like I said, live and learn. The first batch I made well, turned out to be like a lot darker and they got nasty. And this is a couple of years ago. But uh, these look a lot lighter. So, it looks like probably just about the right amount of liquid. But, to be honest with you, I'd rather have more liquid than beans. You know what I'm saying? Due to the thickness, the consistency, in order for it to be safely processed. So, if there's a little too much liquid in there, that's fine. You know. Some of them look like, uh, like that one there. It looks like it's got a lot of liquid in it. But, uh, oh, they're popping. Well, we'll see. Shake them up when they're done and we'll see. That's it.